Today marks our fifth anniversary of Voice, and Voice has grown in its stature and prominence. Voice 09 is the national conference for social enterprises in the UK. We come together and it is about um, listening to some keynote um, presentations from some eminent speakers, but also it is about us getting together to share knowledge and also to do business. There are now in Britain 55,000 social enterprises turning over £27 billion. Here in the West Midlands alone, there are 5,500 of them, employing over 150,000 people. And what I so admire about social enterprise is that you combine hard-headed business acumen with a human touch. You've got local knowledge, but you are committed to making the world a better place. And you believe in making not just our economy richer, but our society and our culture richer too. Social enterprises are born out of grassroots activity. So you've got communities creating their own kind of uh, businesses to deal with particular problems that they're engaged with. Our organisation is called Second Avenue and what we're, it is, is we're trying to make a social enterprise recruitment agency for ex-offenders because we're ex-offenders ourselves. I personally um, feel more empowered, uh, I feel like I can get somewhere in life now um, and with that I want to support and um, I want to offer support and the right guidance to other people that have come from similar backgrounds to get them onto the straight and narrow. Trios was established 30 years ago. It was set up specifically to take funds in from individuals and organisations and then lend those where there's a social or environmental benefit to the wider community. My name is Cressy Wessling. I'm an environmental entrepreneur. Um, I've always built businesses that solved environmental problems. And my social enterprise is called Eco. We reclaim and upcycle industrial and commercial waste. Well, I think the opportunities for us are the same that they are for any other business. It's a time of a bit of a crisis, and that should breed, hopefully, innovation, ingenuity, lots of exciting new products and ideas. All around the world, you know, social enterprise is, in effect, an interesting movement because it's a, it's a consumer movement. I mean, well, we're shifting from a consumption-driven economy to a consumer-powered economy. And what social enterprise does is it reveals to people that they have a power in, in, in where they choose to buy. It, we grew up hearing about the boycott. I'm interested in the boycott. You know, what's the incentive to, that creates, not just for social enterprise, but for all businesses, this notion of like, you know, wow, there's a consumer that is looking for something more than just a product. They're looking for meaning, too. Your creativity dynamism and compassion and ingenuity is absolutely central to the good economic future we must build in our country. Social enterprise really is value driven in ensuring that it, isn't, it just isn't um, driven by profit, it's driven by what it can do to change our communities and change the lives of indiv individuals while still making a profit, but it's how that profit is used. It isn't given to shareholders, we do not get big bonuses as a result of it. We reinvest those, those, those profits back into the work that we do. And that's what's key about our work. Social enterprise right now has an amazing opportunity in, in the global economy because there's a, there's a frustration. The public in general is feeling really taken advantage of. And there's almost a populism rising up that I think social enterprise speaks to. What we're saying in effect is you, the consumer, have the ultimate power at the end of the day. You can, you can, you can empower a corporation that, doesn't, that is almost abusing you or you can empower something that keeps the money local and really shows you respect, gives you an opportunity to be part of something much bigger. I think, again, it's, it's a huge opportunity, but it's up, for, uh, it's up to us 
cost and social enterprise to take advantage of it. Well, this has been our most successful voice conference yet. We've had over a thousand people here um, and we've had some really important uh, discussions and debates. We had David Cameron setting out the need for uh, a marketplace where social enterprise can operate in a fairer kind of business. And we've had uh, Liam Byrne this morning commit uh, the government to holding a, a social enterprise summit. He and Lord Mandleton are going to do that to really see how social enterprise can play a bigger part in the economy going forward. There's a whole generation of people who want to do well and to do good at the same time and social enterprise is the vehicle for them to do that.